What are you here doing? Time after time. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer's market. market over here. You know, shopping God's good goodness. Yes, and I'm running over stuff. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, should we find the mustard greens? Yeah, you know what? Let's try some mustard greens. I think we should. Is it this? Because I feel like I'm not familiar with this leaf. Bruh, Let's see. This is, is dandelion. Something. Dandelion. Or whatever that is. But it ain't mustard greens. This looks like collards. Yeah, this is regular collards. Oh no, this is Swiss chard. Oh, right, Swiss chard. Yeah. This is collards right here. Yeah. And this is kale. Yeah. Mustard greens, though. Maybe they're down that way. Oh, those are herbs. They might not have the mustard greens. They got turnip greens. Mmm. We could try that. These don't look too Oh no, they just mean spring. This is oh, this is spinach. Bruh. This is celery root, and it smells so good. Bruh. I'm going to find a Pinterest recipe for celery root. I'm going to put it back here until I find it, though. Ooh, what's this? Black radish? Put you back. I need a Pinterest recipe for you, boo. Did you get some green squash? Oh yeah, the zucchini pasta. Yeah. More yucca. Did you make that the ones you had? No, I didn't even. I didn't even make it yet. Bruh. Ooh, what's this? Papayas. What? And it's only seven of this? Malaysian cocoa. Oh, that looks good. Look That's nice that. and milky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That That's looks good. good. This is a nice fat one, too, so I'm going to get this one. This ginger is, like, spectacular. Yeah, it's it's so isn't, moist. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it. Yeah. It's so moist. Oh, what's you crawling on it, honey girl? We're in the farmer's market over here by my house. They got seaweed eggs. Seaweed snacks? I haven't had seaweed Ooh. in a long time. I'm on the phone with my mother. <laughs> oh, hey, mommy. Hey. She said, hey. 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 I'm shiny. Just a little bit, but it's Why okay. Why shiny? Because you're black and that's all that good black melanin goodness. Okay. I'm going to come through. Yeah, mom, we're actually doing an actual episode <laughs> right now because we're in the store filming. Yeah. And um, it's, it's so, I love Seaweed. It is and it's the wild flavor. I love it. I've never made yep. quinoa, but I think one day I might make it. I'm gonna smack my whole face off. Pastas. Y'all just look down the aisle. We're just walking down the aisle. <gasps> First of all, I'm not even a fan of. Ooh, come on, finger. I'm not even a fan of olives, but. Some olives I do like. Bruh. Hmm. I don't think they have vegetarian butter here. I need some vegetarian butter. Because in my transition phase, I'm trying to use up everything that I have in the fridge right now. And um, I don't usually cook with a whole lot of butter. But now that I'm taking meat out of my diet, um, I need that good buttery salty taste to make up for what I'm lacking. You know what? I'm not even tempted by all this meat. Look at this. I'm not even tempted. Nope. But this cheese though. Bruh. Honey, it's cheese. Now, I know not everybody's eating the cheese. But, Lenny might be going vegan. But I think I'm good on the vegetarian side for a minute. Ooh, what you see, what you see? So, for you guys looking for like alternative noodles or anything like that, these 
are absolutely amazing. Organic black bean spaghetti. This is amazing. It cooks very quickly. You only have to put it on, in some boiling water for about maybe two to three minutes. And it is amazing over anything. Ooh, um, throw that in my bag. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Boom. See? <laughs> in the bag. Boom. Um, they have all kinds of different ones too. You can get you know, mung bean, soy bean spaghetti. It's amazing. It's the best alternative. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to go back on the other side? Did you see all the like the the seasonings and stuff down there? And yeah, okay. Actually, oh, look at these little rice noodles. This is cool. They got some good stuff. They got margarine. Margarine. <laughs> I don't even know what spice that is. <laughs> Me neither. Let's buy it. Taste it. I know this this one this is expensive. Is, this is the part where it gets crazy. It's like your season is, but actually get the vegetables, it's really cheap. It really is. But once you have your stock, then you're good. Ooh, they got Mexican seasoning. Um, Barbecue spice. Here's some cheap how much is that seasoning right there? Like this one? Yeah. What else? Four ninety nine? Oh, this is four fifty nine. Four five okay. I see what's happening. And that one is $7.49. Okay. The camera's over there. I keep looking this way, but. Bruh. I'm gonna get me some, some tomato sauce to go on top of my black bean pasta that I just got. Tomato basil or organic spicy marinara. What? Ooh. Oh wait, I ain't paying $7.99 for no for no sauce now. $4.99. Here we go. <laughs> I was gonna say I might need to take a trip to shop right, honey. Yes, I have the red mill. I have the flaxseed in the house. I might get some coconut flour, but the thing is I don't use I don't bake as much as you do. I had to go. <laughs> I had to go from different angles. Oh, okay. I'm just Ooh, saying. Oh, they got chocolate chip cookie mix. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, it's gluten-free. Oh, you blue. I'm telling you, red meal is the shit. Okay. You just gotta go get your oh potato flour. Right. Bruh. I want to have to different. look this up. What are we gonna use that for? I don't know. We definitely need a recipe for that. Because <laughs> okay. I'd be lost. <laughs> like I'm like this is a lot of starch. <laughs> Rolled oats. Okay. Ooh, maybe we can make some oat cookies. Or you can make some oat cookies since you the, the pastry chef over here. <laughs> Look at all of this. See? I'm telling you. Red Mill. And their section be even bigger than this sometimes. <laughs> they got a small section of it. But, you know. Tri colored quinoa. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. Mm-hmm. See? See? Look at all the life you're getting. One good thing, when you saute your asparagus, right? Cut up one slice of lemon, cut it in half, saute it in the in the actual in the actual pan. But then once you're done, after you add your garlic, your salt and pepper, and fresh garlic, and um, whatever else, if you want anything else, I usually do it just like that. <laughs> if you drop, sprinkle a little sesame seeds on top of that asparagus, I'm telling you. I'm about to go get me some asparagus. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs>